This has got plot. That man and his merch. Hello and welcome to That Man. That is me merchandise and it's time to get excited as I look at volume one of Triage X. Now, if you do like this kind of content, please leave a like, please consider subscribing and we'll have a look at this underrated series. Now, many, many moons ago there was a title called High School of the Dead and for a lot of people it is one of those titles that got people into anime. Um, not gonna lie, it, it, for a lot of people it was the etchy one that got people into anime and I actually quite enjoy it as a series. Um, it's got a quite a decent zombie apocalypse plot and it came on the back of stuff like The Walking Dead. Um, yeah, there was boobs and it was ridiculous and it was absolutely absurd to the fact that one guy used a girl's breasts to shoot a gun or something ridiculous like that. Um, honestly, it's been a long time since I watched that and I haven't ever picked up the series. Hmm, might be one I actually should pick up. However, due to some issues such as the writer sadly passing away, High School of the Dead ceased to be. While it remains one of the most wanted anime season 2s of all time, um, we actually got a new series in the form of Triage X. And yeah, yeah, as you can imagine from the cover, it is still as lewd and ridiculous as I remember. However, much like High School of the Dead, it doesn't just have the fan service there actually is a really good story behind all of this. Now, I didn't know anything about this series going in. I knew that it was an action series. I knew that the girls had guns and shooting guns. And I knew that there was a lot of over-the-top fan service. However, when I read it, I was pleasantly surprised. Now, a lot of series that I've talked about is stuff like Monster Musume, um, and so, like where it's monster girls and the girls are kind of the fan service characters and we get a nice little character story around it it's nothing too deep however this series is very much like it's basically psychopaths with tits and honestly i'm really enjoying it from what i understand from the first volume there is a hidden task force which is basically an ambulance service. They cleanse in the world of uh, viruses, uh, blights upon the world, pain in your legs, pain in your asses, but they're doing it with guns and pistols and sex appeal. And honestly, I really enjoyed that idea. I mean, we've had other series kind of do this stuff with stuff like Fire Force and Fire Force. Uh, however, rather than just fighting demons, they are fighting the underbelly, the crime world. Basically, the nurses are essentially the police task force. And I thought that was nice and refreshing. I thought the logic behind it was pretty solid. Um, in order to cure the world, the nurses <laughs> took shooting bad guys. Of course, it's ridiculous, but I really enjoyed the kind of idea behind it. Yes, unfortunately, once again, and this is my issue with a lot of these series, it's focusing on a main character, a main male character, who honestly is not interesting whatsoever. And the series seems to quickly pick upon that because much like other series, it kind of focuses on the girls. And the girls are... Well, as you can imagine, they're pretty busty. However, I already am getting quite a lot of fun characters from this, which is really a really nice surprise. Um, one of the things I kind of find with Etchy and stuff like that is that I kind of wish that they would just have a male, a main female character. Most people read this stuff for the female characters. Not many people really care about the male character. While I know it's the whole of a, you can put yourself in the main character and pick between the girls kind of thing. I don't know, I, why can't we have a badass female character and then you still kind of get the whole, well, she likes girls, which girl will she get with? But oh, and for a lot of people that probably would, I think people would like that as well. Um, but that's just me. I don't know why. I was just kind of like, 
yeah, I know we have the whole male fantasy and stuff like that, but a lot of these char male characters aren't interesting. Although then again, I'm kind of finding the same with a lot of reverse harems where the male characters just aren't interesting because they're just kind of like, Ugh, I'm a generic male, look at me. And I don't know, it's, it's kind of weird. But yeah, we, the Triash X was pleasantly surprising in the fact that I really enjoyed the cast of characters it brought. I enjoyed the world that it brought. It, it, it is an adult story. Um, again, if you've seen stuff like Psychopaths or Gangster or even stuff like Ghost in the Shell, you are kind of getting an idea of what we've got here. It's like a, a, an undercover task force otherwise known. They, they were like, they would call us terrorists if they knew. Um, there's plenty of beautiful women. Yeah, the fan service is a little bit ridiculous. It's not as ridiculous as I expected. All of the girls have got big boobs and that's kind of like, that's about it and they wear reveal and cloven, but it's kind of used as a kind of, a, to make sense. It's like, oh, no one would expect me to do it. Bang. And I kind of like that idea. Um, I'm not sure how far it's going to go. Uh, I know there's like 16 or 17 volumes out in English at the moment and I do need to thank Yen Press for hooking me up with Volume 1. I really enjoyed it and yeah, um, definitely, I'm definitely going to pick up some more of them. And you should too. If you liked High School of the Dead, if you like edgy series with a bit of seriousness and yeah, you'll probably enjoy this one. Um, if I like, say if you don't, if you kind of looked at the cover and was like, oh, nope, 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 you're probably not going to enjoy it. But for me, yeah, it's an etchy series. I'm not going to lie, I do enjoy a lot of ridiculous etchy series. Um, but this was a lot of fun and I'm not going to lie, I'm looking forward to seeing how it turns out. Um, one of the things I did pick up on is that it is quite wordy. So if you are kind of used to the, your normal etchy stuff where it's kind of a, a vague plot with just excuse to get boobs out, um, you might struggle a little bit more. Um, like I said, it's a dark, serious plot and that is the the forefront. The girls are just kind of the characters that we've got so rather than angsty bishy boys we've got angsty bishy girls with big boobs. Yeah it's um, it's one of those things that like you, you need to be in the right frame of mind to read it. The artwork is absolutely beautiful and there was a lot of things I really liked including gravity. For people who kind of have seen this, they will have an idea of what uh, I'm on about. Yay for natural sag. And it's just those kind of things where it kind of made it feel more realistic than the usual just like kind of gravity divine, ridiculous over the top scenarios just to kind of get stuff out. Uh, I really enjoyed it and I really enjoyed the artwork that was brought out for us from Shoji Sato. It was a great fun series and I am looking forward to picking up the rest. In fact, the anime has been on my um, to watch list for some time and now that I've actually read some of this, I'm actually tempted to pick up the anime. If you've already seen it, let me know in the comments if it's worth picking up. But yeah, if you like beauty brains, boobs, psychopaths, you will go, you will go far with Triage X, a series that I'm really glad I picked up and read. Now, if you did enjoy this, if you did like this kind of stuff, please leave a like, please consider subscribing, and let me know in the comments if who your favourite girl is in Triage X. Or, if you haven't read Triage X, High School of the Dead. I will be looking to try and get that picked up in the near future, because I really want to relive that. <laughs> so yeah, leave a like, subscribe, all of that jazz, and I'll see you next time. Thanks for coming and thanks again for staying. Goodbye.